Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome into the show. How's it going? Hope everybody got a good sleep last night. It is another day to do some shopping in the crypto space. Let's have a look at the market first. Not a financial advisor, not financial advice. Make sure you guys are doing your research, okay? Let's have a look at the at the market here. Matic down 6.6%. Guys, there's a lot of good buys right now. Matic 6.6. ICP down 7.5%. Uh, Arbitrum down 6%. All these are great, great buys. Uh, Cosmos down almost six and a half percent. What else? XLM down four point two percent. Jasmine down six point one percent. What else do we got? Terra down eighteen percent. Not Terra Luna. Terraxia down eighteen uh, percent. Great pickup there. Uh, what else do we got? Ocean down 6.2%. That's a good buy, in my opinion. Uh, Singularity Net down 7%. That's a good pickup. Uh, Algorand down 7.8%. HBAR 11.6%, guys. Uh, Chainlink to 6.5%. Glimmer down 6.7%. Man, these are good, good buying prices. Uh, XRP down 4.9%. Sand down almost 7%, Cardano down 5%, Near down 7%, Casp is pumping 5% for some reason, um, but I'll take it. Bitcoin's holding 29.1, guys, there's a lot of good buys out there right now, Gala 6, 6.5%, like Casper 3.5%, a lot of good buys today, guys, that's all I'm going to say about that, there is some steals out there, Zilliqa 8.6%, insanity. Insanity. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Uh, Moonshot says, uh, can you not move assets from Uphold to a wallet? Uh, I believe that you can move, I think, Tier 4 assets uh, from, from Uphold to your wallet. Uh, tier 3 assets, uh, you have to wait for them to become Tier 4 assets uh, till they meet the criteria for that. So uh, just hold strong on some of those and you'll be able to, like... Uh, like Caspa, for example, uh, and you will eventually be able to. Uh, Moonshot says, uh, it's a big shopping day today. Hell yeah, it is, my friend. Um, Blad1727 says, mate, Terra's going down. What to do? For me, personally, I bought more, man. That's what I do. These, That's what these opportunities are for, is to buy, not to panic. You're feeling, if you're feeling panicked and stuff because something's going down on a day, on a, like on a specific day, and, but but there's no news as to why it's going down. If the whole market's going down. That's called a DCA opportunity, right? You should be excited about opportunities like that, not panicked because it's going down, right? That's how I feel. That's how uh, that's how it's done, in my opinion. You should be excited, not panicked, right? We're in an accumulation phase. I keep telling you guys, it's going to go in accumulation phases on the macro. It's going to go up. You know, 10, 15 percent, three percent, four percent, five percent, whatever. It's going to go down. The same, same thing. It's just going to go up and down, up and down. But zooming out, that's just more of a sideways thing. Until we get closer to the having, it's going to be like this, you guys. Right? There's not going to be any major, major pump. It's rare you're going to find a major pump um, in in any coin uh, in this type of uh, in this type of a market. I mean, look what happened with H bar. We had great news with H bar. It pumped. And then it's on its way back down again. Look at XRP. They, they won the lawsuit. Uh, Ripple won the lawsuit. It pumped. It's on its way back down. Because we're in accumulation. There's no money in the market. This is not a time to panic. Right? This is a time. Days like today is, is a shopping spree opportunity. It's not a bad thing. You buy red. You sell green. You don't buy green. Right? So I hope that's clear. If I helped out with that at all. Um... William, I'm listening to last night's live stream at work. Uh, keep up the great content. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm officially a fan of this channel now. Subscribed. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the family. All right. Let's get into uh, some of the news. Uh, Biddle, Biddle B says, uh, when you zoom out, Jasmine's one of the most accumulated cryptos right now. Uh, they're really 
there's really no nowhere to go but up. Jasmine has the potential to recover its all-time high, and under the right circumstances, the Japanese uh, Bitcoin could easily set a new record. Uh, I mean, it, it, for it to get back to its all-time high of like $4 or, or something, it, it's going to take a while. I'll say that. It's going to take quite a while. It's not happening this bull run. Um, whale charts. Rumor. Gary Gensler shifts focus to uh, SEC focus to AI instead of crypto due to negative feedback. Um, so this has me wondering, what exactly does Gary mean by shifting the SEC's focus to AI? Is he going to start attacking AI companies the same way that he's attacking crypto? I wonder, like, is that what he means? And if he does, what is that going to mean for his career? Because it's not going to look good. Uh, Congress is already on him. It's not going to be a good look if he starts attacking the AI technology coming in the same way he's attacking uh, digital asset technology coming in. He's very clearly trying to hinder in, hinder innovation in in the United States and like what what is he trying to do here? I, I don't know. Is he trying to go down in history as the biggest buffoon uh, regulator of all time? Like I don't understand what, exactly what is your goal here. Like, do you want to look like an idiot? I'm I'm genuinely curious at this point. Um, Coin Bureau says uh, everyone has their eyes on Bitcoin ETF applications in front of the SEC, but all around the world they aren't waiting. Europe's first spot Bitcoin ETF has gone live after being delayed for more than one year. The, e the ETF started trading on the Euro, uh, Euronext uh, Amsterdam Stock Exchange yesterday. Crypto investors are eagerly awaiting a spot Bitcoin ETF approval in the United States. Big surprise. All right, so let's get into this thread here. Breaking, Coinbase just got the green light for Bitcoin uh, and crypto futures trading in the U.S. Here's everything you need to know. Uh, Coinbase, a popular cryptocurrency exchange, has received approval from the National Futures Association to offer crypto futures trading to eligible customers in the U.S. This approval allows Coinbase to operate as a futures commission merchant platform which means they can introduce uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum future contracts uh, through their regulated derivatives exchange. Uh, Coinbase mentioned uh, that this is an important step for them to run a regulated and compliant business aimed uh, to be a secure platform for customers interested in crypto trading. Uh, while Coinbase is now authorized for crypto futures trading, the service won't be immediately available in the U.S. Uh, interested individuals can sign up for a wait list uh, to get early access once it launches. Coinbase highlighted that the global crypto derivatives market uh, makes up a significant portion, about 75% of crypto trading worldwide. Trading futures uh, provides leverage and uh, an easier entry into the market uh, compared to, to, to traditional spot trading. Earlier in June, Coinbase had announced its plans to launch a Bitcoin and Ethereum futures uh, trading for institutional investors. They had also uh, considered uh, expanding globally with the derivatives exchange in uh, Bermuda. Uh, it's important to note that this news comes amidst amid Coinbase's ongoing battle with the SEC, uh, which filed a lawsuit against Coinbase alleging violations of uh, local securities laws by selling unregistered securities. Overall, Coinbase's approval for offer uh, of crypto future trading uh, showcases its commitment to regulated operations and its expansion into the growing market of cryptocurrency derivatives. So, I wonder if at some point uh, Coinbase is going to put in an application for a spot Bitcoin ETF as well. It'd be interesting if they did. I mean, obviously, uh, Gear Bear is not going to grant it, but, you know. Uh, we got some breaking news here from PayPal. PayPal is going to stop Bitcoin purchases in the UK starting October, 20, October 1st, 2023. Delete PayPal. 
Uh, okay, what do we got here? Federal Reserve's uh, FOMC meeting minutes about to drop, revealing shocking details on future rate hikes. What Bitcoin and crypto traders must know. The Federal Reserve recently increased the key interest rates uh, to between 5.25 and 5.50 to combat rising inflation, uh, the, highest, the highest since the 1980s. Uh, this aggressive move started in March 2022. Fed Chair Powell views, uh, his views are, he hinted that there might be more rate increases. However, he believes factors like better supply chains and reduced worker demand might help reduce inflation. Upcoming Fed Minutes, set to release at 2 p.m. Eastern, um, might reveal... Whether the Fed officials believe inflation will continue or drop, continue to drop, or if another rate increase is required, possible uh, future rate increases. Uh, if if done, it would be a minor change, but significant for the stock and bond markets. Many in the market believe the Fed might start reducing rates soon. Analysts' views are, uh, analysts suggest there, there's uncertainty among policymakers about future decisions. Their ongoing debate on whether it's right to keep policy rates high, um, given the current economic trends. Uh, recent economic indicators, some recent data shows hiring uh, is slowing down, which could ease the job market. The core PCE index which is an inflation measure uh, decreased to 4.1% in June from 4.6% in May. Uh, views from other Fed officials, Philadelphia uh, Fed President uh, Patrick Hack Harker, Harker uh, and Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Fed President Ralph Bostick believe no more rate hikes are necessary. Um, meanwhile, Meanwhile, some, like other New York Fed uh, President John Williams, have started to talk about the possibility of rate cuts in the future. Uh, mixed messages. Different views among Fed officials have led to confusion. Some believe the policy might become too stringent if inflation de decreases, but lending remains tight. Potential dilemma: If the market increase or if the market interest rates surge, the Fed might have to decide between uh, ensuring inflation is in check or trying to reduce inflation without causing significant unemployment. Uh, summary: The Fed is navigating complex scenario, a complex scenario with rising inflation, and their next move could be could have significant implications on the economy. <laughs> So, should be interesting to see what it is that they decide to do. What else do we have going on? Uh, Binance Connect, the crypto giant's buy and sell arm, is shutting down today. Uh, but why are they really doing this? Uh, Binance Connect, the regulated buy and sell crypto arm of Binance Exchange, will be shutting down on August 16th. This decision comes in response to changing to a to changing market and user needs, according to Binance spokesperson. Uh, the move has been confirmed by both Binance and and uh, Biswap, uh, a decentralized exchange. Biswap. Um, tweeted that Binance is discontinuing Binance Connect due to the provider closing the support card payments service. Um, Binance Connect uh, initially launched as a Bif Bif Bifinity? Bifinity on March uh, 7th, 2022, service as a fiat to crypto payments provider Connect crypto companies with the traditional financial system. Uh, it supported 50 cryptocurrencies and supported fiat payment method like Visa and MasterCard. Uh, the shutdown decision follows various regulatory challenges for Binance. The UK's Financial Con uh, Conduct Authority expressed concerns about uh, 
Bifinity's uh, in investments in a crypto investment firm. Um, this raised questions about uh, the beneficiary ownership of Binance Group, uh, the parent company of Bifinity. Uh, Binance Connect also played a role in role as a fiat to crypto on-ramp provider for Binance Trust Wallet. However, the service has faced challenges with Binance Australia suspending uh, fiat services and German regulators rejecting Binance's crypto custody license request. Despite these challenges, Binance secured a crypto broker dealer license in Dubai. However, it's worth noting that Binance is currently in lit litigation with both the SEC and the CFTC for allegedly operating uh, an unlicensed exchange in the U.S. Binance's decision to shut down Binance Connect reflects its efforts to refocus resources on core efforts aligned with the long-term strategy as it has transformed from an exchange to a global blockchain ecosystem with multiple business lines. Uh, as the crypto market continues to evolve, companies like Binance uh, are adapting their businesses, business approach to address challenging markets uh, and user needs. This move might have might pave the way uh, for new developments and services in the in the future. Interesting take. Interesting. Interesting. A lot of a uh, lot of things happening, guys. A lot of things happening. So basically, that is the news in the morning. Uh, I will be back shortly with uh, another video. Uh, make sure you're here for the live stream this evening, you guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, last night we did like two hours again. It was crazy. Good times. Um, so make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe, guys. It was absolutely awesome last night on the on the, uh, on the live stream. We needed like three subs to get over 700. And you guys pushed past it, and that was absolutely epic, man. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for that. It was amazing. Um, definitely jacked up for that. So anyways, like, comment, and make sure you smash that subscribe button, and I will see you guys this evening.